Actually, Max just uh, stopped by to give me an update on Michael's condition, and I haven't been able to get to the hospital. And so thanks for that update, and I don't want to take up any more of your time. Oh, work works for me. I'll see you later. Not so fast. I know that panicked look in your eye. It means you're hiding something. If I didn't know better, I would say my very dear friend is putting the moves on my guy. For shame, Diane. I have never, ever seen Miss Davis as a sexual object. Thanks, Max. You know, I stared at her doors for over two years when she lived across the hall from Mr. C. I know the most intimate details in Miss Davis' life, more than I'm happy about or comfortable with. But our relationship has never been anything but courteous and professional, and I resent you saying otherwise. Oh, oh. Well, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, Max. Please, paint a different scenario for me. Why are you here? Oh, for heaven's sakes, Diane. It's not court. Stop interrogating the poor guy. I just asked him a very simple question. We were worried about you. Uh-huh. Why? You've been working so hard, you know, these big cases and all that pressure. Actually, it's just the opposite. Corinthos and Morgan have been shockingly law-abiding of late. I've been bored out of my gourd. And until the family of Brianna Hughes approached me about this lawsuit. But you know this already, don't you? No. I told you. You may have mentioned it in passing. So you're worried about me taking on the Brianna Hughes lawsuit? Not that specifically, just in general, you know, in a caring but manly way about your, um... My what? Well, your ambulance chasing. Ambulance chasing? Whoa, 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 Diane, easy. Okay, I didn't mean to insult you, okay? Miss Davis said that if, if, if you don't drop this malpractice suit, that your, your whole career could end up in the toilet. I'm asking for a couple of cops, Commissioner, not the resources of the entire robbery homicide division. One of those cops is Callahan. He's working five cases right now, five, and do you know why? Because I've had to lay off Two cops, and I'm looking at cutting two more. And here you come, wanting to take more men from the squad to look into some special investigation. Into what, Mayor? I outrank you, Commissioner, which means I don't have to explain myself. And if you try to block my request, I will make your next review before the Council a very arduous experience indeed. Looks pretty standard to me. Yeah, I think so. You're about Brianna's height and weight. That's good. And you're about as tall as Mayor Floyd. Much better looking and in better shape, of course. Well, thank you very much. So, how do we figure she bumped her head? I don't know, but uh, let's just try. Come on, hop up. <laughs> okay. Hmm. How's that? Uh, that's good. A little bit higher, wasn't it? Okay. okay. How's that? Ow! Did you hit it? <laughs> Did you hit? A little bit more. Yeah, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. Oh. I was like, I know it got physical. Up there, so. I can't wait to hear the explanation for this. Look, Commissioner, I don't want to resort to threats. I'm asking you nicely. Accommodate me. Just as I've accommodated you in the past. <laughs> Is that what all those press conferences were about when you called me incompetent and soft on crime? I may have justifiably called into question your seeming inability to break the hold of organized crime on this town, but what do you expect me to do when yet another crime spree breaks out on your watch? You know, I'm not going to get into a pointless debate on uh, who's responsible for the blight that is Sonny Corinthos. <coughs> <coughs> you all right? <clears throat> you know what, um... You want to pull men from the squad? Fine. You come down to the PCPD and sign off on it personally. Okay, I'll walk down there with you right now. That was close. <laughs> Combat in the courtroom is one thing, but manipulating my personal life is something yet again. I thought we were supposed to be friends. We are friends, Diane, which is why I'm care about you and me and us. Yes, but there are limits, Alexis. I never condoned your relationship with Jerry Jacks, but I would never do an end run around you to make a personal appeal to him. 
Oh, that analogy is flawed. You get my point. I agree with Miss Davis. I'm sorry, but, you know, the malpractice thing is just a big mistake. Max, you are a wonderful man. Here's a word to the wise. Never presume to give me advice about my career. Oh, I see. My opinion doesn't matter because I'm just empty-headed fluff. So you know what? I'm going to take this trophy ass home and warm you up some mac and cheese. Oh. Well, go after him. Oh, don't think you're getting rid of me that easily. I know you, Alexis, that you would stoop to using my relationship with Max to, to somehow bury a lawsuit that may affect Mayor Floyd in a negative way. On, on what planet is that possible? Everything we've seen indicates that Brianna Hughes would not be able to sustain that head injury like Mayor Floyd claimed. So we thought we'd reenact the situation and try and find out what would really happen. It's nice work if you can get it. <laughs> uh, listen, since we're all here about last night, I acted like an ass, getting drunk and uh, be obnoxious with Maxie. I, I cannot believe that I hit Spinelli. I just... So it's no wonder that you think that I'm out of line and you feel like you need to solve this problem for me, but really, I can handle my own problems. Actually, you don't have exclusive ownership on that anymore. Brandon Hughes' family put me in the lawsuit. That is absurd. You weren't even in the building when I had her on the table. That's the point. They're claiming negligence because I let you do it alone. So what? You're going to be looking over my shoulder every time I take on a procedure to save me from my own incompetence? You're making a point. Both of you now are in the same boat, so it's time to start listening to each other. Right. Sorry. It's just, it's just a knee-jerk okay. reaction. I just I can't believe this is happening. I, and now you're getting pulled into this entire thing. I, the only reason you agreed to let me take that procedure is because I emotionally blackmailed you and the patient died. It's my problem, not yours. Matt, look, it, it's not your fault, right? We both know that something more serious happened to Brianna Hughes before we got there that inevitably caused her death. There's no malpractice on either one of our sides. Now we just have to prove that.